Hi everyone, Nikos Papidis here from Sunny Cypress and I'm back with another Excel video tutorial. I think I'm going to call this one a tip actually. This is a method which I use quite often whenever I'm going to share a workbook with other members of staff or colleagues so that we can work on uh, the data, usually lists, uh, and we're working on this together to keep a list updated or modified. Now, um, it, I would normally have a Word document or another Excel spreadsheet where I would keep my own personal notes, things that I don't want other people to see. But now I'm going to show you a different method where you can keep everything in the same workbook, but you're going to use a hidden, this one here, a hidden worksheet, which is also password protected. And that will allow you to be able to have all your notes in that same workbook but away from everybody else's eyes. So they're not going to be able to edit it. They won't even know that worksheet is actually available. And everybody will be able, still be able to work and collaborate on sheet one, which is the one that has the list that everybody's working on. Now, this is going to be a two-part process that you're going to see, and it's going to involve using passwords. So be very careful. You need to keep a note of your passwords or use passwords that you're going to remember. Because if you forget the password, Essentially, you're not going to be able to access your data again. Now, I'm going to have in the description below a link to another video tutorial which actually shows you how you can break the password protection of a worksheet or a workbook just in case you do lose that ever so important password. So let's get started with the tutorial. OK, so here we can see my workbook we can see that this workbook over here, we've got two worksheets. The first worksheet is the one that I'm looking at right now. And this is the worksheet that I want to be able to work together with my colleagues or a team so we can keep this list updated. It may be that some of these courses are redundant. We need to get rid of them. Maybe some of them don't have uh, enough people enrolled in them. So we're going to remove them. And essentially, we're going to be working on this together as a team. So everybody should be able to modify, edit, and delete rows in this worksheet. The next worksheet, this one here, is called Nick's Notes. So these are basically my notes, my notes about some of the courses. You can see I've got some of these marked for deletion. Maybe there's not enough interest. I'm adding uh, some notes, and these are only for me. I may not want other people to know that some of these courses are going to be deleted. And I could just work on these choosing you know, whether they're going to be for review or for delete, and maybe just adding general notes. Now, most of us doing this in the past, we will probably keep a separate workbook or a Word document where we will keep all our notes just to keep everything in line so we know what it is that we're doing and make sure nobody can edit that data or at least that data shouldn't be seen yet. So this is going to be a two-part process. The first thing I'm going to show you is how we can password protect this worksheet so nobody can actually edit it. So let's do that now very quickly. I'm going to go to the review tab. Now you can see here in the review tab, we've got the protect section. I'm going to go to protect sheet. When you click on this, you get this dialog box. Now this dialog box here, you could just give a password. I'm just going to put one, two, three in this one. Just make sure one, two, three. And here, what's going to happen, the ones, the items that are selected are the things you're going to allow other users to be able to do without the password. So by default, it only allows users to select cells, locked cells or unlocked cells. And that's it. They can't do anything else. If you want to have a look at the rest of these options and just give more permissions, you can. I'm just going to click on OK. And it's going to ask me to enter my password again. One, two, three. And click OK. Now, this worksheet here is now password protected. No one can work on this. If I try to type something, I can't. And essentially, they can only view this data. Whereas this one here, they can modify that data. OK, so basically that means they can still see both of these worksheets, but they can't edit this one. Now, it might be that I want this to be hidden because I don't want people going around saying, oh, this is going to be deleted and, and this is for review. So I want to hide this, but I want to keep everything within this workbook. So the next thing we're going to have a look at is this feature here. If I right click on this tab, next notes, if I right click on this, I've got the option to hide. Now by hiding, what happens? That worksheet now has vanished. You can see there's only one worksheet. So people can only work on this one. It doesn't actually lock it away because if somebody knows how to right click on any tab, 
they do have the option now to unhide. So clicking on unhide will display all the worksheets which are hidden. And they can simply select that and click OK. And that makes this visible again. Again, it's still locked, they can't edit, so if they try to delete something or type something, they can't. But they can see the data. So how do we make this uh, in a way that it cannot be seen and it cannot be unhidden? So I'm just going to right click on this again. I'm going to choose hide. And then up here again in the review tab, I'm going to go to protect workbook. Now, when you protect the workbook, you protect the structure of the entire workbook. In other words, you're not going to be able to add new sheets. You're not going to be able to delete sheets. You can work in the sheets as normal if you've got permissions to. You just can't change the structure of the workbook. So I'm going to click on this and I'm going to give this a password. Now, I'm going to use the same password as I used to protect my sheet. One, two, three. Now, I suggest you do do this, and for me, it just saves me from having to remember two separate passwords for one Excel uh, workbook. I'm going to click on OK, and that's going to protect the structure. And re-enter the password, one, two, three, and click OK. Now, what we've done is we have protected the workbook. So if anybody now tries to unhide any worksheets, if they right-click here, you can see these options are gone so they can't unhide. Now your worksheet is hidden and it's also protected from editing. You do, they don't even have the choice to add a new worksheet. So I'm clicking on this plus button now and I can't add a worksheet. So right now, um, anybody who's got access to this workbook has got access to this worksheet. They can make changes as normal. There are no issues there, but what they cannot do is unhide my private worksheet so they can't see the data and they can't work on it either so what would I do when I want to go and have a look at my data I'm going to come here I'm going to go to review tab click on protect workbook I'm going to type my password one two three and that's now going to unprotect my workbook so now if I right click on this I've got the option to unhide I'm going to choose, there's a pop-up window here I'm going to choose which spreadsheet or which worksheet should I say I want to unhide, this one here, and there it is. But it's still protected. Okay, so if I try to edit, I can't. So now I'm going to click on unprotect sheet, put my password one, two, three, click OK, and now I can carry on working on this. Now, a quick note. These passwords or these protections, they're not dynamic. So once you've unprotected your workbook or you've unprotected your worksheet, when you close Excel and open it again, the workbook stays in the format or in the protection mode that you left it. So if I was to close this now, I'm just going to click on Save. So here's my file. I'm going to double click on this. You can see it's going to leave me in the state I was in originally. So I can edit this one. It's not hidden and everything is unprotected. So once you've finished working with this, what you need to remember to do is to go back and apply your protection again. So I'm just going to go here, review. I'm going to show you how quick this is. I'm going to go to protect worksheet. One, two, three is my password. Click OK. We enter the password. One, two, three. Click OK. And then I'm just going to, oh, sorry. And then I'm going to right click here to hide this and protect workbook. One, two, three. And one, two, three. And that's it. So now my worksheet is hidden and it's also protected. Now you're going to say, hmm, I have to do two things to do this. Well, if you have to keep a separate document, whether it's an Excel workbook or a Word document saved somewhere else with your notes, and you're going to have to keep remembering to open that up, I think this is a much faster way. You've got everything inside one file, one workbook. Now, a uh, quick note, you're using passwords to apply the protection so if you forget your passwords you're not going to be able to access your data so you need to make sure you can remember your passwords however saying that if these passwords here the protect sheet password and the protect workbook passwords these passwords can be broken and i've got a tutorial on how you can bypass that password protection in case you do forget your password so you can access your data without paying other people, let's say, a lot of money to try and unlock your files. So if you look in the description below, I've got a link to that video 
and that will show you how you can actually break those passwords. If you've learned something new, or you're just interested in using this method so you can keep your, your notes safe within the same file, then make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. I'll see you again in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.